Whether you want it or not, Passbook comes pre-installed on iOS 6. The app, which can't be deleted, lets you store digital versions of things like tickets, coupons, and club cards on your iPhone or iPod Touch. It keeps all these items organized in one place so that once you arrive to a concert venue or store, you can just pull up the app and let the vendor scan your barcode from the screen. Here's how it works. There are basically three ways to add a ticket, club card, or coupon to Passbook. Through a vendor's Passbook Ready app, from an email attachment, or through a URL. Let's add a pass through an app. The first time you launch Passbook, you'll be sent to the App Store to download a compatible app. In this case, I'll get Sephora since I have a club card with them. Okay, open the Sephora app, and at the top, there's a banner prompting me to add my account to Passbook. So I'll sign into my account, add to Passbook, then this card will pop up with all my info. Every time you open a pass, it'll look something like this. Just tap Add up here, and now my Sephora account is in my Passbook. In this case, I can see my points, and whenever I shop in the store, the cashier can scan this barcode. Another way to get a pass into Passbook is from an email. In this case, a company might send you a coupon as an attachment. Just tap the attachment, the coupon will appear, and then you can add it to Passbook. And if you see a URL like this in an email or on a web page, it'll work basically the same way. Now, on the back of some of these passes, there are options. Tap the info button at the bottom corner. The automatic updates option means that anytime my flight has a gate change or I earn more rewards on my Sephora account, the pass will be updated. Show on lock screen lets time or location aware passes show up on my lock screen. So if I have a flight coming up and I'm near the airport, I'll see the pass right here when my phone is locked. And I can access it by sliding the badge. Once you're done with the pass, you can delete it by tapping the info button, then the trash can at the top. You'll see this fun shredding animation, and then it's gone. So those are the basics of Passbook. If you're a tinkerer and want to create fake passes like coupons and tickets for testing the app, check out PassSource.com. Send me any questions you have on Twitter and check out the written guide to Passbook on howto.cnet.com. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin.